Hey, welcome. It's been a long time since we've been able to post a video like this. And I mean, outside, the sun is bright. I actually wouldn't need on long sleeves, but I do have them. Isn't it something that just last week we was doing like two, what was it, two or three videos of the ice storm covered with snow. Now, today, it is almost 60 degrees outside. Beautiful, beautiful day. Almost makes you feel like spring. But anyway, let's get on to the business of this video. Today's video is one of these little extra videos we like to throw in every once in a while. Wings is Eagles Ministry. We here are mainly Christ-centered, and we do singing, teaching as well. But we do like to throw in little videos. I want to correct something that I said at the very first of this, what you're getting ready to see. I made the statement that the question was asked about Groot, and I was answering the question. The question was actually asked by someone who was getting ready to buy a Great Pyrenees puppy. So they didn't directly ask it toward Groot. They asked it about picking out or buying a Great Pyrenees puppy. It's when you go to buy these dogs, a lot of times these little dogs or puppies will come with badger marks, which Groot did. So you will see in this video coming up, you will see several pictures that actually before I get to when we purchase Groot, you will then see it's my daughter, my wife, and myself all holding Groot. And you can see the little badger marks. But we're addressing the question in this about badger marks on a great Pyrenees puppy. And should it influence you when you buy? They're wonderful dogs. Groot's a wonderful dog. So we're using him to give an illustration. I hope you enjoy. Again, thank you for each and every one of you. And please watch the rest of this video. Thank you. Welcome to Wings as Eagles Ministry, where every once in a while we do these little extra videos, and that's what we're doing today. Please, if you like videos like this on our dogs, check out our dog playlist. Today, we're answering a question about Groot. And first, let me say that all the dog pictures you're going to see in this video, as well as all of our thumbnails, are always our own dogs. Now, uh, today's video, Groot is the one that's mainly featured. Some time ago, someone asked me about badger marks, and they wanted to know if the badger marks would always be there as they was looking at getting a little puppy with badger marks. And so today, we're going to answer this question. Remember, all of these pictures you're seeing are of Groot, from a puppy to as he is now, too. When we went to pick out our puppy, we seen Groot and absolutely fell in love with him. As you can see, he had several badger marks on him. Well, we obviously fell in love with these looks and could, and I could just picture myself with a big, huge white dog with gray all around of his eyes. But I made a comment about the badger marks to the owner, and the owner made a comment like, there's a good chance they will fade out. Well, considering she owned three Pyrenees at the time, I figured she knew what she was talking about. Now, as Groot began to grow and you begin to see on these pictures, the marks were becoming less and less visible. Only a touch of the dark color would show. Present day, as you're beginning to see, Groot has turned into a huge white fluff ball that is part of our family. There's no badger marks now, but, you know, you might be able to see just a shade of black, but it's not much. That's fine with us, though, because he's still our Groot. So the purpose of this video is to say, don't let the badger marks influence you, because by the time they get around two years old, the marks will be gone. More than likely, rest assured, you will still have a huge polar bear to love, though. Like, subscribe as we occasionally post about our dogs, and we hope you enjoy this video on Groot. We love this dog.